Hello everybody, dinky do, it's me, Scotty McClue, it's just to say hi, it's Wednesday night, we are midweek, we're live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. This is Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, just saying dinky do to all of you. The purpose of me popping up right now is to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the wonderful sharing work you have done on Facebook Live and on Twitter. Now, we're all getting engaged on Twitter, we're getting engaged on Facebook Live, and we're building the world's top talk show right now as I speak. I can't say thank you enough for all the sharing that you've done. I'd also like to appeal to you to go to my GoFundMe page, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Now actually please do this. Have a look at it. Watch the video. Read the brief and make a decision if you'd like to donate a pound or two or a fiver or a tenner or 50 quid or a hundred pounds or a thousand pounds. Whatever you would like to give because what I'm hoping to do is purchase media assets so that we can build an independent free media. So we're looking at that. Also, there's some mileage in saying that uh, apparently the BBC have ruled out a Scottish Six programme. That's a national television, Scottish national television news at six o'clock. Instead, they're talking about bringing in a new channel with £30 million worth of funding. Now, what I'm suggesting is, would you like to see Scotty McClue present a Scottish Six. So in other words, we have a news bulletin at six o'clock every night for about 15 minutes or half an hour even, if you could stand half an hour of me, each weeknight at six o'clock sharp. Think about that. But also, if you don't have any money or you don't want to donate, can you click on the GoFundMe and um, share the Twitter and the Facebook logos there? That would be very much appreciated. That's all I'm asking you to do. You don't have to dig into your pockets if you don't want to. But those of you who do want to, grab your debit card and um, stick some pennies into Scotty McClure. As I say, it can be a pound, it can be two pounds, it can be five pounds. Uh, James Lafferty's watching, James Forbes is watching, Andy Grant's watching. Scotty, you've got a fab face, says Tam Hamilton. Thank you very much. Uh, you need an off-the-blue hat to go with your tie and jumper, says everybody. Fantastic stuff. So I've really only popped up to say hi and to tell you about that. We are, of course, live with the big show. That's the massive global show, Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp on Sunday nights. Tell everybody about it. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live just for you, dinky do. And of course, once this video's popped off, if you can share it and share it and share it and share it and share it, and don't stop sharing it, for goodness sake, share it randomly, because I'm building this program for us, not just for you, dinky do. It's Scotty McClue. So, social media, if you can go onto all the Facebook pages, if you can share the videos, that would be fantastic. If you can follow me on Facebook. Now, I've got several Facebook pages. I've got Dinky Do, I've got scotty McClue.com. I've got the Scotty McClue public Facebook. So there we are, that's a page. And you can like that and share it. I've also got Scotty McClure's broadcast page, the one we're on right now. If you're watching me right now, we're on that one. So there you are. Gordon Sterling's watching through in Hayden. Dinky do to you. Gaz Rolly Jones is watching. Ian Walker is watching. Martin Monaghan is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to know that you are all there. I don't often pop up midweek, but I thought I would tonight. But I'm quite serious about the GoFundMe account. We've got £285 in it. We are looking for £5 million. Now, I don't want to go and reduce that amount. But if it's putting you off, we could reduce it pro tem. But the thing is, that would allow the purchase of media assets and the building up of an independent media. So there we are, a free independent media worldwide, because we've got people watching in Australia, in America, in Canada, right across the globe. 
Hello, Scotty from Long Nidry, says Gordon. He's not in Hedenton. He's in Long Nidders. Dinky do. A budget special, Scotty, yes. Absolutely. We will talk all about the budget and we can discuss that on Sunday night as well. Also, would you like America to come back to be part of Britain? We're talking about that too. So there you are. Howdy doody, Scotty, says Eamon Poddy. Hello from Gavin and Lynn, who are in Loch Winnoch. Tremendous. Wadge is watching. Hi, Wadge. Dinky doo. Lovely to know that you're there. Calder Crew is here, says James Lafferty. Hi, Scotty. Dinky doo. How come you're on today? I just popped up because I want people to go to the GoFundMe page. So you just put into your Google or your search engine www.gofundme. Well, just put in GoFundMe. And uh, when you get to the GoFundMe page, put in the Scotty McClue Show or Scotty McClue. The page will go up and you'll see it there. 285 smackaroonies right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who generositized those. That is very much appreciated. Also, I'd like you to share the page. You'll see there's 412 shares. Can everybody share that page? You don't even have to put anything in it. Just share it so that people get a chance to contribute to an independent free media with me, Scotty McClure. Now, it tells you all about it there. The brief is there. So please don't start saying, hey, what is it you were looking for again, Scotty? Don't start any of that nonsense, okay? Go read the blurb, watch the video. You'll see me sitting in this jumper, but with an open neck blue shirt. All right, and uh, there are also moves afoot so that you will be seeing me on terrestrial television. So there you are. Oil revenues uh, to be nothing for the foreseeable future, says James Lafferty. Ha <laughs> ha, if you believe that, James, you believe anything. Wendy McDonald Thompson's watching. Martin Monaghan has just shared the video. I thank you for that. Will the SNP announce Indy 2 at next week's conference, says Martin Monaghan. Martin, I'm not a member of the SNP, and I'm not actually even a political animal, as you well know. But they might well mention, who knows what they will do? You would have to talk to the SNP. What I do know is that economically, Scotland could be independent in a heartbeat. So there you are. Um, who else have we got? Have a great day, Scotty. Go fund me, says Gordon Sterling. He's having trouble with his spelling, but then that's just perhaps the way Gordon is. I think we should look after him. What do you think of the new American president, Trump, says Wadge. Yes, he's an interesting one, Wadge. We will see how he gets on. That's going to be interesting. So there you are. Don't worry, Scotty. I definitely don't believe that, says James Lafferty. I know you don't, James. I was just teasing. The oil revenues will be absolutely fantastic. Scotland sends £40 billion per annum down to Westminster. If we kept that for ourselves, we could feed our children rather than give it back to the bankers. Uh, so there you go. Westminster needs someone to expose them, says James Lafferty. No, I think they've been exposed over the last 310 years, James. I think we know what's going on. We're only talking a change of management here. We're saying, look, the whole Westminster thing doesn't really suit Scotland anymore. When we signed the uh, treaty, we agreed we were going to be treated as equals. We don't believe this is happening, so therefore we would like to take control of our own affairs. Self-determination. That's what we're talking about there. It's not rocket science. It's self-determination. Nothing good on TV as usual, says Wanch. Absolutely no, there's not. Dinky do, Scotty, says Grant Stoddart. Dinky do to you. Hi, Scotty, says Charles McLaughlin. So, guys, Charles McLaughlin knows all about it. He has contributed to Scotty's GoFundMe, and a lot of wonderful people have. So can everyone go there? Surely you can spare a quid or two quid if everybody can go there. GoFundMe.com and put in Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E. -T -T -E. Now, I know it's a tough gig. I know it's a tough sell. But if you look at Scotty McClue's life and work and career, you will know I am no stranger to a tough gig. I am no stranger to a tough sell. I have come up to a radio station with 3,000 listeners at night and turned that into a quarter of a million per half hour. Now that's what I call a challenge. 
So there you go. So I'm not going to be put off with the fact that, um, you know, my target is £5 million and we're at £285 right now as I speak. I give thanks for the £285 because we could be at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So there we go. So if every single one of you, if everybody in Scotland stuck in £1, we would reach our target right away. So can you pop in gofundme.com and uh, Scotty McClue and stick something in from your card. The facilities are all there. You can watch the videos and it will explain where I'm coming from. Uh, can you give a shout out to my uncle Abdul? He's going to his work, says Wedge. Uncle Abdul, have a lovely, lovely evening at work. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Scotty, why do terrorists pick on the public? Are they stupid? How do they never go after the government? Well, Ian, we don't want terrorists at all. We want people to discuss things. That's why we have the Scotty McClue show, so that we can discuss things, right? Because terrorism never ever gets us anywhere. All it meant was we lost John F. Kennedy, we lost uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Mohandas K. Gandhi, and uh, things like that. We lost the wonderful Lord Mountbatten, for no reason at all. He was a marvellous man, and he was a man you could actually have talked to about the problem. The people that killed him could have talked to him about their problem. And there was a man that knew all about freedom, that knew all about freedom fighters, that knew all about discussion, because he was there when India gained freedom in 1947. He was the last Viceroy at the age of 46. Um, I'm going to get involved. Thanks, Scott, says James Lafferty. I donated, you should to Joanna K. Jackson in Maine in the United States of America. Very, very kindly donated to the account. And if everybody can stick in what Joanna K. Jackson stuck in, we will reach our target very, very quickly. So I'm begging you, and McClure doesn't beg easily, as you know. I'm imploring you to go to GoFundMe. If you have zero money, not a problem, click the shares on Facebook and Twitter. And if you can stick in a pound, two pounds, fiver, let's get that target growing, because I don't want it to stall. I don't want it to go static. I have great ideas, and I've got lots of things I can do with the pennies. So please, get contributing, get donating. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or GoFundMe and uh, just stick, you, it'll say search and you can put in Scotty McClue and up will come the page. You'll see £285 and I would like to think by the end of this broadcast we will see £300. Gordon Riley says hi. Vicky Navarro, the lovely Vicky Navarro, says me and Kev are watching and think you're great and sends a kiss. I send a kiss to you, Vicky Navarro, and a big hug and a kiss to that wonderful man of yours who kept the nation entertained for years and years and years and will do so again. Trust me, McClue knows best. So mwah, to you guys. What do you want, says Amanda Ramsey? Anything that you can pop in, Amanda. It's gofundme.com and uh, forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Anything you feel you can give would be wonderful. If you can give a pound, five pounds, a tenner, whatever. Uh, so there we are. Let's start talking, not fighting. Discussion, discussion, discussion. Joanna K. Jackson, you're absolutely right. We're going to be talking on Sunday night. We whetted everybody's appetite last Sunday. We're going to be talking on Sunday night if America should come back to Mama, if America should come home to Scotland or to the UK. Uh, Neil Tipping, hi, Scott, you're looking good. I hope you're well. Neil, I am fantastic. There are lots of big, big things happening for Scotty McClure. So there you are. It's rather good. Thank you, Joanna Key, for that. Um, Neil Tipping is perhaps one of the finest uh, laddies of the big switchboard, the wizards of the big switchboard that Scotty McClure has ever had. And I've had some very, very fine ones. I can tell you, I could even name them all on the fingers of one hand. I'd love to come to Scotland, says Joanna K. Jackson. Joanna K., you would be made very, very welcome in Scotland. I can tell you that for nothing. So there we go. Dave Hemsley. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Dave. 
Uh, hello, Scotty, from Thomas Wright and Gary Coyle and myself, Paul Wright. Thanks, says Paul Wright. Dinky do to you, Paul. Scotty, 250 million for Scotland in the budget. That will get us all a pie supper, as long as it's a McClure's pie. We don't mind. So there we are. We all like a bit of pie, I say. And um, so that's happening. 250 million. Well, wait till we see 30 million to um, fund the BBC. Now, remember, they're giving us 250 million. We give 325 million to the BBC from Scotland. So uh, just to put that in proportion, and Scotland also sends £40 billion to Westminster, and they're giving us £250 million back. So that's like giving your mother all your wages, and she gives you back your beer money. Right, it was uh, BBC Radio Scotland announcing today they expect oil revenue, no oil revenues for the foreseeable future. No, 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 no. The oil will be coming in because has you have you noticed the price at the pump? is going back up and uh, oil has got a barrel price i couldn't tell you today's because i haven't checked it but it will go up and up and up so there you go uh scotland how long ago was it when you did the night show on scott fm says gordon riley it will be 23 years this december so just over 22 years ago i'm entering my silver jubilee 25 years of scotty mcclue this june that's why I would like us to reach our target of £5 million at GoFundMe.com. Now, you can laugh and laugh and laugh until you're weak at the knees, and you can laugh a hollow laugh. But remember, they all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round, and they all laughed when Edison discovered sound. So I can tell you that. So you can laugh at Scotty McClure. That's why I gave up being a comedian, because people were just laughing at me all the time. What I would also like to see is this show on national television engaging all of you at night and talking directly to you, right? Uh, they've obviously moved, made moves to hide the revenues, says James Lafferty. Well, we would need to check. We can't point the finger until we've looked into it. The oil's always been coming in and always will, says Ian Walker. Yes, and we haven't even started the exploration yet. I mean, because of Trident... We haven't started digging up in the Clyde. And I would like to see the Clyde become independently wealthy again. I would love to see Greenock as the financial capital of the world. That has been my vision. And I would love to see that because think about it. It's beautiful. You know, I mean, Greenock is fantastic. It's stunning. It's got uh, tremendous communications. It's got the river there. 25 years of you talking chap. You've done well, old man. So there you are. Talking quality chat, I say. I think you meant talking talking chat. So there we are. Yes, absolutely. 25 years of me talking chat. Um, so if everybody can share the video, OMG, says Gordon Riley. I loved listening to the high dusting. Yes, we used to tell the women to get on with the high dusting. And why not? Imagine a Clyde oil boom. It'd be fantastic, says James Lafferty. Absolutely, James. And uh, Greenock, beautiful, beautiful housing, beautiful geography, wonderful views, the sunset over the holy loch at night. Good day, Scotty, says Frank McElroy. Dinky do to you, Frank McElroy. There's golden tin drum. I'm going up with my bucket and spade, says Ian Walker. Ooh, you might not be allowed, Ian. You need to watch. And of course... They used to pan for gold, didn't they? Panning for gold. The Clyde's so clean again, it's got shellfish, says Gordon Riley. Well, unless we had any oil spillage, the Clyde would remain clean, even if we had the oil trade there. So I can tell you that. Are you more regular now, says David Gardner? That's a very personal question, David. Everything seems to be fine, thank you very much. Now, uh, that's like the chap that went to the doctor. And he said, I have a problem, doctor, downstairs. And he said, yes. He said, um, do you feel you're a wee bit too tight? Are you bound up? And he said, no, no, nothing like that. And he said, do you feel you're a little bit on the loose side? He said, no, no, nothing like that. Regular as clockwork every morning, six o'clock. He said, so what's your problem? He says, well, I don't actually wake it up till eight. <sighs> I've said it now. I've said it. Oh dear. But anyway, no white fish. The Clyde is fished out. I don't believe the Clyde is fished out. I mean, you think about what we had there. We had a wonderful fishing fleet in Tarbot, 
wonderful fishing fleet in Caradale, wonderful fishing fleet in Campbelltown, wonderful fishing fleet in Ayr, wonderful fishing fleet in Girvan, wonderful fishing fleet in Kirkubri. Getting the picture, guys? Need I go on? No, Scotty. We've got the picture. Jerry Cart is watching. Dinky doo to you, Jerry. Lol, says uh, Gordon Riley. Yes, so they are quite right, Gordon. Now, uh, I went uh, into the doctor last night and uh, he said, Yes. I said, Could you help me out, doctor? He says, Which way did you come in? Um, get your shamrocks ready for the 17th. Absolutely. The inner Clyde, says James Lafferty. Oh, I'm talking, I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking the upper reaches of the Clyde. Need to stop women in the garbles doing their washing in the Clyde. They're killing off the trout, says Ian. Did you know this, Ian, that you could actually walk across the Clyde at one point? Don't, don't try that at home now, folks. That's for information purposes only. Great fishing in Loch Lomond. The best salmon in the world, says Mark Fairbrother. Man, Dr. Joke, golf ball. <laughs> Man, Dr. Joke, golf ball and back passage, Dr. Uh, Dr. Lukeson says, yes, it's a fair way. It's a fair way up. Right. A big sporting weekend coming up, says Ian Walker, of course. Gordon Riley says that he worships the Lord. So that's fantastic. Fantastic. You'll see that there, Gordon Riley. You can see this friend of mine phoned me the other night. He says, Scotty, what are you doing on that program reading out all the names? We can see them. We can see them within seconds. I thought, it's all right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Do you know what's amazing? It's amazing the interest that these broadcasts. Remember, we're on Facebook Live. And it's amazing the interest that these broadcasts have actually sparked. Because uh, I notice that some of the big broadcasters, they've got plenty of money, but they're struggling for audience and content. Vicky Navarro, just you make sure that man of yours is listening there. They're str str struggling, struggling for content. Mm. He's a man that knows his content. Um, I, if your name is Jesus, you could walk over the Clyde. Absolutely, Ian. Yes, indeed. And... Uh, Loved your photos of your mum and dad, Scotty. You look very much like your dad, says Frank McElroy. Aha! That's very interesting, Frank, because a, a wonderful sculptor once did a bust of me. And um, he said to me, do you want to go to Monte Carlo or do you want me to do a bust? And I said, mm, Monte Carlo or bust. Um, so that was it. Anyway, uh, he did a wonderful bust of me and it looks very like my father and he never saw my father. Amazing. So there you go. John Douglas is watching. Dinky you do, John Douglas. And you'll see my father there uh, in the Paras in the Second World War. He was a para with my grandmother. So you'll see them there in the photos. Also, uh, can you follow me on Facebook? Can everybody actually follow me on Facebook? Very, very important. And um, also, can you follow me on Twitter now? Those of you that have said, oh, I'm not following him because all that stuff comes in all the time. Oh, hey, Scotty McClue this, Scotty McClue that. So what? Nobody dies, okay? So follow me on Twitter, and we're starting to engage big style with the audience there. So um, I also have stopped sending through the same thing as much as possible because I have several different pages send something in, so it looks as if it's just repeated on Twitter, and I know some of you go, oh, for goodness sake, there's Scotty McClure driving up the wall. Uh, there we are. It's International Women's Day, and I've got a big sink full of dishes for her when she gets in for her work, says Ian Walker. So there you are. Well, what I bought my missus, um, a lovely bag for International Women's Day, and I bought her a new belt. So she's got a new bag and a new belt, and I've fitted them in the vacuum cleaners, working brilliant. So it's superb there. And uh, also, Alan Stitt's watching. Dinky do to you, Alan Stitt. How are you? No problem at all. You're on fun today, Scott. Says James Lafferty. Oh, 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 am I not just a naughty wee Scotty? Woo! Right, uh, Stuart McLean is watching. I think I had a hot chocolate before I came on. So maybe just a little bit on the high side. <laughs> uh, Stuart McLean is watching. Dinky do to you, Stuart. Fantastic stuff. And uh, lots and lots happening, guys. So if you can share, share, share everything. Now, it's lovely of you. I love to look at my notifications. And it says uh, 147 people have liked your video. 
Now, that is very, 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 very kind of you. But I actually need to see 147 people have shared your video. So the word share, think feeding of the 5,000, the uh, five loaves and two fishes. And um, Ian, if you take um, the plinth off the sink, she'll be able to get her feet right into it, says Gordon Riley. You people are shockers, shockers. Where is your political correctness, I say? Uh, I'm good, I'm good, Scotty, says Alistair. Yeah, you're looking dapper today. Dinky do. No, I've just got the old jumper on, quite cash, cash. Um, okay, Scotty, I've got to push off. I'll see you later. Have a great night, Frank. And the same to you, my boy. You have a great night. That goes for every single one of you. Have a fabulous night. Now, just to recap, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Google+. Look up the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Yes? Do all that. And go to GoFundMe.com. Put in Scotty McClue. You'll see the page there. And stick in a pound or two, please, so we can start reaching our target and I can start getting you an independent free media. So there you are. We are a global program. We've just had the wonderful Joanna K. Jackson there in America, in Maine, in the USA. We've got people watching all around the world. Nice sweater, McClure, says Gary Arrow. Thank you, Gary. And um, who else have we got? Daniel Joseph Dinky Do. Daniel Joseph, a fine, fine fella. Danny there. It's Men's International Day every day, Scotty. Absolutely. So there we go. Wonderful. Aftershave and all that stuff. Have you ever had pre-shave? Mm -hmm. It does exist. A lot of it was to do with electric razors, but some of the, um, the uh, uh, companies... The, um, what do you call them, toiletries companies used to send out men's toiletries and you had pre-shave. Marvellous, there you go. A wee shout out to all the great yesers. Scotty, looking forward to a new ref announcement at the SNP conference. Who knows, Beth Taylor? Absolutely. Indie Ref 2, Scott, says James Lafferty. Yes, I think we do need Indie Ref 2. And, uh, you know, I mean, if, quarter of, if 250 million is um, the Chancellor's best shot when we are sending down 40 billion to Westminster. So maybe we should have the Scottish Chancellor standing up and saying, right, we're promising 40 billion pounds for Westminster this year, but we're going to hang on to it ourselves <laughs> and spend it feeding the Scottish children and clothing them and sending them to school. Uh, if it's free, why have we got to pay for it. You are a tonic, says Gordon Riley. Thank you. So there you are. Angie Thompson's watching. Dinky do, Angie Thompson. Fantastic. Remember, uh, Gordon, you're not actually paying for the program. The program is free gratis. Scotty McClue has always lived either by applause or derision. It's up to yourself. You can uh, like Scotty McClue. You can even hate Scotty McClue, as long as you love Scotty McClue, nobody minds. There we are. Well said, Scotty. Uh, 25 people have reacted. Fantastic. Adam Mitchell goes, Oi! Oi to you, Adam Mitchell. And Gordon Riley is calling me a Tory, T O R I E. So there we are. So I'll call him a T O R E G. <laughs> or a T O W. R-A-G. There you are. Just a bit of banter, Gordon. Don't take it to heart, son. Right, it's time McClue pushed off out your road. There was just a wee midweek Wednesday evening treat. Pop up, say hi. And if you can all go to GoFundMe and say hi, that would be wonderful. But go there anyway, guys, and start sharing. Because I want to see that 412 shares go shooting right up. Woo! All right. Scotty McClure saying to all of you, thanks for watching, and dinky-doo. I'll sing the song now. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Wittersein. French. Or of, that was German, but French. Au revoir and a cheerio. Cheerio, loves. Scotty McClure has left the building. Dinky-doo.